Hi there, it's Angela from the Advanced Reporting Team. I know some people are having a difficult time understanding how to build expressions. I know figuring out the syntax for an expression can be challenging to say the least, so we'll go over that in this video. Specifically, we'll use expressions to build a report that shows estimates, regardless of date, and then build through dates. This includes making an expression that doesn't change based on date that you select in a list box. It'll be a static amount for an estimate amount. We'll make the chart and use objects called variables to get you that information. Open the Start from Scratch report from the report list. It's a good idea to add a current selection box first, since it tells you what you selected and helps you reset your selections. Right click anywhere in the blank space and choose New Sheet Object Chart. First, we'll set up the main dimension for the table, which is going to be the customer job. Select the transaction table as you want to see information related to transactions in the bigger picture. Then click customer full name. The first expression is going to be the amount from the estimate and won't be affected by dates. We'll build this step by step. We want the sum of the transaction amount with a dollar sign here. If you start typing, you can see that sum transaction dot amount with sign appears as you type. You could always go down here and choose from table and then fields to get the same effect at the top. So if you look, we have a column labeled estimates, but at the moment you can see all the amounts for all transactions for these customers. What we want is only for estimates to show, just like our column says. So you could do a transaction type list box if you didn't care about making the column one that wasn't affected by date, like this. So since we want this chart to not be affected by date, we would want to build an expression. We want the amount only from estimates transactions. We're going to set up an expression to do that for us. Here's the syntax we start with. Now you can see the column is showing the estimates amount from estimates transactions. If you wanted to make it change based on date, you could add a list box like this. If you just want the field from your QuickBooks data to be a filter in a report, an easy way to do that is to use select fields. We want to make a transaction date list box, so we need to choose transactions as the table and TXN date as the field. That stands for transaction date.
So now we selected a date, and you can see that the estimates column changed based on the date we chose. It's not showing the full data set, it's only showing the data set that relates to the date we chose. We want the estimates column to stay the same no matter what date we choose, so now we're going to go and enter in that portion of the syntax. So how do we make the column for estimates stay the same no matter what date we choose? Well, I'm going to show you a special item to add to the syntax just for that. Let's go back into properties. So we're going to add a one here. The one makes sure that the columns use the entire set of data and it can't be filtered based on list boxes or other objects. In this instance, it will show all estimates regardless of list box selections. It's part of the syntax that advanced reporting works on. The one always goes on the outside of your chosen modifier, which is what's contained here within these uh, brackets, and then inside the curly brackets. So now you can go click on those dates and see that the estimate column stays the same. So now we have one column down, and we're going to make the build through column next. So just start typing, or even better, you can copy and paste the formula we have in the description for this video and then fill in the blanks from there. We want this to be the sum, but we don't want it to be fixed, so remove the one. The transaction type this time is related to when they were billed, so that would be invoices. Change out estimate for invoices. We also wanted to show invoice amounts related to dates, so you would choose transaction date. Here's how you would set up the syntax for a certain date, but only that date. Let's just see what that looks like real quick. So here you can see there are no invoices for the date that we chose. Let's go back in, change the date, and see what we find. So we can see one invoiced amount for that date for $643.60. Now, what if we want to show a box that you can fill in with a date and then those invoices for that date would show? Well, it's called a variable and we're going to set that up right now. The dollar sign tells advanced reporting to insert the value for the variable at this place, which is going to be a date that you enter into the variable we're creating, and we'll call that BTD for build through date. You can use whatever you like as long as it matches with what you use for the variable title.
So right now, there's no build through date defined, and we can actually use a variable box to define it. The word BTD in the expression links to this variable here, so you need to make sure this is identical to what you have in your expression and vice versa. We can also make it show invoices billed through a certain date. Let's go to the expression to do that. First, capture it in double quotes. Then you need the less than sign, which is this and the equal sign. If you're using a variable, less than or equal to, or any function, you need to use the dollar sign. You could read this news section as dates that are less than the current selection, which is what's in the variable BTD. Alright, so you can see the variable there is changing what you see in the build through column. And you may notice that you can see a couple, multiple rows for some customers. And it may be the case that these customers had a transaction that didn't have an estimate, but they were billed later. You can make as many columns as you want and match it to the variables so you can change the date on that particular column to whatever you want. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching.